Hi, welcome back to Backseat Gaming. I'm Ryan. I'm Matthew. And we are still attempting to be Pokemon Masters. Yes. It's not as easy as Ash makes it not look. It really isn't. I was going to say as easy as he makes it look, but he. how long does it take him to actually win a championship? Seven years. in Not in even in canon. Just outside of canon. It took like seven seasons. Yeah. That's not even seven years. That's seven seasons. He's been going since like 1999. It's 20 years. That's true. It's been 20 years. And, and they the still say that he's like a 10 year old. Yeah. And the only one he actually won before that was the Orange League, which, which isn't even a league. It's not. It doesn't count. It's filler. It's filler. It's so sad that his the one the first that he fought didn't count. <laughs> uh. And that every time. He sees Gary, he's just reminded of how much better Gary is than him. Yes. As a trainer and as a person, because he's actually grown. <laughs> oh. Like, Gary's had, Gary's had a character arc where he's, like, gone yeah. from being, like, brash and egotistical to being, like, understanding and, like, it's like yeah, I like emotionally Pokemon. adept. Yeah, pretty much. And Ash is still just, like, a cocky, stupid kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so we are going to get Spurnt out. Who do you want to replace? I'm going to say Whamda right now. Whamda? Well, what else we got? Well, we got, uh, so let's, okay, first let's do this. So these three, I would say, are probably on the chopping block. Whamda, Snipe, and Abba, because we got to keep these three. They're, they're our staples. Mm. I would say Snipe. Because Abba, I, Abba's not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, Lambda, if we actually level it up, if we take the time to level it up, we can actually get a Gyarados, so that's that worth true. it. true. And then Snipe, right now, is not really doing much. No, I mean, really, it's just a uh, kind of like a catching sponge. Yeah, pretty much. And Abba can do that. And then even more so, if we lose Abba, we can just replace her with Swipe, Snipe. Yeah, pretty much. Or yeah, we could replace Carrie with Snipe because, I mean, they're both kind of just filling the same roles, and uh, Carrie's just doing a better job at it. So, we'll put you there. Yeah. Thank you, Snipe, for being with us for as long as you were. Yeah. Snipe and Seinfeld hanging out. Plus, uh, little known fact, uh, of the I like how the two Pokemon we have in there are both named after celebrities. Yeah, Wesley Snipes and, si and si uh, Gary Seinfeld. Se <laughs> Seinfeld, Seinfeld. <laughs> uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Uh, by the way, fun fact. Um, mm -hmm. The even though what's the word I'm looking? Oh, cool, new route. We can get into the Pokemon. Yes, but the word you were looking for. Uh, so the Zubat line, only the last one, Crobat, is mm -hmm. can actually learn fly which is an important HM. Mm -hmm. We can't get Crobat until after the National Dex, which isn't until after the, we beat the League. Oh. Weak. I know. Uh, Maybe Charizard can learn it. That's true. Charizard can, lighter, can learn it. Or Carrie. Yeah, or Carrie. As long as she's... As long as they're still alive. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're still alive. Uh, here we go. Heck. Hey, is this a new route? Oh, no, this is a trainer. This is a trainer. Oh, okay. Trust me. I was so hopeful. I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get a Macha. <laughs> Macha would be pretty cool, even though we couldn't get him a champ. Because we'd have to trade it. I hate that bullcrap. It's such a dumb mechanic. It's it's the gatekeeper to my favorite Pokemon, Gengar. <laughs> exactly. It's so dumb. I hate it. Yeah. It's stupid built-in DLC bullcrap. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it, it was the DLC before DLC. Like, hey, you want this Pokemon? Buy another game. Trade it with a friend. Trade it with yourself. I don't care. <laughs> okay, that that's... What's the word I'm looking for? That assumes... Ooh, nice. Two, two things. One, you're rich enough to get another Game Boy to do that. Mm -hmm. Or two, you, have a, you can have a friend. Yeah, I was going to say, you didn't have two Game Boys growing up? One no. for when for when one died and you needed another one? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I didn't either. I had... I did get a Game Boy Advance once. That was nice. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we'll have Abba be the catcher, I guess. Do, 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 do. So this we can catch new Pokemon. Yes, no? right here. 
Uh, already got you. Yes. So we will... We'll just run until we can get a new one. All right. I know we can get a new Pokemon somewhere here. It just depends on what it is. <gasps> just throw a Pokeball and hope for the best. That's literally what we have to do. Please. It's okay. You love yes. us. Yes. You love us. We know you do. Yes. Come on. Three. Yeah! Yes! We got an Abra. That's so awesome! We got a glass cannon. We do. I mean, there, it's a glass can. It's not just a glass cannon. The most powerful glass cannon. Like, they're extremely strong, but they are extremely weak in defense. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. It uses a variety of ex extrasensory powers even while asleep. Oh, so we have something in common. <laughs> uh, that this is amazing. What do we what do we name it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just go with a crazy name then. Uh, uh, B. B. Yes. Uh, e. Be Benson. B. Bet Bet pretty Bet. Oh. Beepo. Yeah, we'll go with that. Beepo. <laughs> Beepo. I, I like Beepo. It's like Bemo, but Beepo. Yes. Alright, uh, well, goodbye, who? Uh, repla- oh man, that's actually really hard. <laughs> Who'd we replace? It'd have to be Rattata. Yeah. Or Abba. Abba, yeah. Even though Abba- I mean, it didn't really help us get a get Abra. No, it didn't. We just threw a ball at it. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Even oh, I wonder if that would work. Where you're just sitting there, it's like, yes, welcome to the world of Pokemon, where you throw a ball and you can catch something. And then somebody just throws a ball at Professor Oak, and he's like, Poof. he's like, that's not gonna work. What? No, 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 no! Ah! no! <laughs> he just gets sucked into the ball. I'm gonna name you Birch. Death. Go, Professor Oak. This is so freaking humiliating. This is humiliating. Use karate chop. Hot yeah. What can I do that? No, he just karate chops a golem and breaks his hand. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh god, that oh, hurts oh, so oh, bad. Oh, I'm old. Golem, use rock to Oh no. So, we yeah, have two Pokemon that are literally useless. You mean Wanda and Beepo? Yes. Beepo will be... Well, Beepo's going to be easier to get to usefulness. Wanda's going to be longer. Just giving a head, giving you a heads up, because... I don't uh, think... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Beepo won't evolve until, like, level 16. So, that's a bit of... Can we get an Alakazam, or is, it all, is that a trade one? That's another, that's another trade one. But Alakazam... Uh, sorry, but Kadabra itself is not a bad Pokemon. No. I just think it's stupid that you have to trade him just so he can pick up another piece of silverware. <laughs> we can go to the store. Yeah. Hey, rare candy. Here's another spoon. Evolve already. <laughs> stupid. Yeah. It's not... Hard. <laughs> just watching it evolve, and that's how it actually evolves. It's just sitting at a table, picks up one spoon, and then just like you picks just... up the other one. And it's <laughs> you like see it glows. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that 2001 Space Odyssey like aha moment for like the monkeys. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> uh, it's like yeah, you had two hands. You could pick up use more. Yeah, you could have picked up two spoons at any time, buddy. <laughs> Have you seen, um... Oh, it's so cool. Have you seen, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, mega evolution of Alakazam? No. Is he three spoons? <laughs> oh, not just three spoons. So many spoons. Oh, is he just, like, ho hovering a, uh, cutlery drawer? <laughs> not a cutlery drawer. Just, like, imagine, like, a rainbow, but uh -huh. it's just a bunch of spoons. Oh, no. <laughs> Like, I'm sure you could Google it and look at it, but that's basically what it is. Yes. I'm an important member of a folk band. I play the spoons. <laughs> yeah. uh, huh. It's a part of Montford and Son. Uh, that many spoons he's gotta be. 
he has his whole own band of nothing but spoons. Yeah. I love how Mumford and Sons just prove that you don't have to be rock stars to be rock stars. You can just be people that used to play on a street corner. <laughs> what? They sound like all those. They sound like a group of street corner performers that just got together and made a band. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. What's the word I'm looking for? What? Uh, listen to them? No, I'm sure I've heard some of their songs. I've never seriously listened to them. As in, like, I've never like sat down and been like, all right, let's listen to a bunch of Mumford and Mumford Son songs. It's a, it feels like a Mumford and Son day. Yeah. Nah, I'm not a huge fan of Mumford and Son. Sanford and Son, though. Sanford and Son? Oh, yeah, it's an old uh, TV show. Um, it was solid. Here we go. I used to I used to stay home from school a lot because I was a latchkey kid. But anyways, <laughs> I, I grew up uh, watching all sorts of like the old television because there's no cartoons on <laughs> at 11 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the morning. It's just reruns or The Price is Right. <laughs> I mean, at least or it was Maury. At least it was The Price of Right. The Price of Right. The Price, <laughs> the price is... of Right. <laughs> what is The Price of Right? <laughs> Hello. What is the price of right in China? What? I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> price of right in China. I think somebody. I think somebody somewhere misspelled something. <laughs> uh, how you doing, hiker Wayne? You doing good, Wayne? Go, Beepo. <laughs> you can't see its face right now, but it's just got this look of like, oh, dude, come on. <laughs> it's like, really? I love how Onyx just kind of, kind of looks like he's just like, oh, yeah, it's so tiny. Yeah, he's like, oh, look at it. It's so cute. Yeah. I want to kill it. <laughs> I want to kill it. I could just crush it. Well, um, we are going to be taking all of that back. Oh, yeah. Take. Yeah, this is the great thing about, uh, the great thing about rock types in this game is that there's that there is no rock type that is not dual ground type, which means that grass and water is double effective. Sweet. And that's gonna stay like that. Grow, my spurt. Grow. <laughs> Grow. I'm trying to remember when uh, <laughs> Odish evolved. Oh, wow. Your spurt looks really healthy. What do you feed it? Uh, you know, compost, sunlight, the blood of my enemies. What? <laughs> it's like, what was that last one? Well, Sunlight. No, the other one. Compost. Ghost. The other one. That was it. No, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand, thanks. It's like, I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! Spurt. Why don't, you, why don't you take a breather real quick? Yeah, why don't you just come go on back inside? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Yikes. That's the thing about That is a surprisingly sh solid fucking rat. Okay, here's the... To be fair... It's yes! A, die! Yeah, die. To be fair, Rattat is... It's not that they have high attack stats. It's that, like, they are... Super they're fast. Normal types. Oh. And, and how, the, mo the moves it's using use stabs, so... How dare you hurt my spurt. We're talking about the Oddish. Uh, we'll use we'll use the bird to defeat the bird. Yes. Terry's pretty close to. Did either one of you hear the word? It's the bird. Yeah. Mm. I love those songs. Like I don't love that song, but I love those songs that are just weird from like that time period where it's just they just made a song about like the dumbest thing they could think of, basically. <laughs> I like I like those songs. Just period. Hey, Beepo. Three more levels, and you can... Oh! Carrie, oh. you're so close. When we find something, do you... How, how come it's like youngsters so far have been the ones that have almost kicked our asses? Look, man. Younger people have a tendency to... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they have a lot more potential than others. <laughs> we're just... What are we, the old guy from uh, Spongebob? How many times are we going to have to teach you this lesson, lesson old man? man. I love the young people. 
Uh, SpongeBob is so good. Yeah. I love the youngsters. <laughs> uh, how many mattresses do you think are in the store? Ten. What I love the fact is like that I grew up with SpongeBob is now that it's so memeable. It really is. I like I think there's like a meme for almost every occasion. And if anybody's really wondering what my hopes for this channel are, it's just that we become meme worthy. <gasps> Dude, I think that's the goal of every channel. Ooh, peck a berry. Everyone's like, oh you wanna have like a thousand or like a million subscribers or like a lot of money. No, I just wanna be at least three or four really good memes. <laughs> Look, man, uh, subscribers kind of meant mean nothing anymore than that, now that two massive corporations are the lar big, uh, most subscribed to channel on this platform. Oh, yeah. The T and whatever. Yeah, T, T Series and Coco Melon. <laughs> T Series and T Series 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we can use Spurt. Give it a shot. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if it has confusion yet, so I think I'm going to go with a safer bet and go with carry. Okay. Because Psychic is good against Poison, and... Yep. Besides... I, I do like, um... I do like Slowpoke. Slowpoke's really cute. I love it. He just looks like he's happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Slowpoke's here. Yeah, not a care in the world. <laughs> he looks like he's like the uncle that comes to the party. It's like, hey kids, I brought gifts. Yes. Yeah. He's the un he He's the family member that when you hear they're coming to the uh, family get together, you're actually a little bit excited. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, who's gonna be there? They're like, oh, your cousins and like your aunts, and you're like, oh. Uncle Gary's gonna be there. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> uh, let's... Let's heal you up real quick. You're... <laughs> I didn't have one of those. An Uncle Gary? No. Like, a family member where I was excited for them to be at the reunion. That's like, hey, Shh. they're gonna be at the reunion. Oh, they got out early? Oh. Oh. Ooh. That's, uh... Well, it doesn't seem like it has any water moves, so... This is kind of our best bet. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> Was it good behavior, or did they turn on somebody on the inside? <laughs> <laughs> Metal Claw. I think it'll do okay. Or not. Never mind. That's fine. If it had a water move, it would have used it. Don't die. <laughs> yeah, we'll claw you to death. I'm gonna scratch your eyes out. You big adorable eyes. We're gonna scratch them right out. <laughs> Here we go, Lilith. You're not mad. I'm pretty sure you're mad. If I ever meet some, <gasps> yes! yes! I, also, I swear, if I ever meet somebody from New York, they're gonna kick me in the nuts because I just do that stereotypical <laughs> accent all the time. Hey, you're from New York. Huh. Hey, yo, come on over here. Give me a hug. And then she's like, <laughs> whack. And I'm just like, yeah, I can oh. see why you did that. I probably deserved that. Yeah. Oh, why'd you break my pulse? <laughs> and then they just start beating me up even more. <laughs> yeah, Firo. Let's take a look at you. Ooh, you're a big bird. It also doesn't help that I have been watching a lot of The Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know, I just randomly started watching like clips on YouTube, and then I got into the series, and I started watching that again. But okay. anyways, yeah. That doesn't take place in New York, but it's basically nothing but Italian mobsters. <laughs> Oh, I could see, I could see that. <laughs> what was it? Uh, you know the the show Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. Uh, well, the creators of that have like another spinoff show where they it has a very similar sense of humor. Uh, they have, they had. Uh, there was an episode where they went to like a an opera mm -hmm. where it was playing the baritones. Which was a spin-off of The Sopranos, but an opera. Ah. <laughs> so. Uh, I didn't get the reference until I was like, oh, The Sopranos. I get it now. Here we go. Uh, now that carries up. Nah, we'll keep Beepo up at the front. Okay, oh, Dampy. 
Mm. Do I want people at the front? Maybe. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, we want uh, Spurt for the gym. So, and I don't think grinding here is going to be great. Hi, my boyfriend's cool. Is it Larry? <laughs> is it Larry? She looks like she's about to bust a move on us. Yes. Uh, yeah. Go Nidoran male. Oh, look at that adorable demon rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Panicula. Go Lilith. Burn the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going Elmer Fudd here? Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Ooh, double kick. He kicked us twice. I'm going to say, that's the one thing I hate about double kick, is I don't know if it does, but I feel like it does it more than twice, and I'm like, that's not a double kick. Double kick, double means twice. <laughs> uh, no, it does it twice, I think. I'm pretty sure it's in the name. It does feel like it sometimes, though. Uh, let's go you again. Because I know these things have a really annoying ability called Poison Point, where if you touch it, you get poisoned. Like one of those people that keep... One of those people that keep taking pictures of a uh, baby blue-ringed octopus in its hand. Oh, that. But yeah. they're like, look at this little guy that I picked up, and it's like, that can kill you. Yeah. Don't do that. They're poisonous. Quit touching <laughs> Uh, I remember seeing that. Um, like, that's my, like, one controversial thing, is, like, I don't think culturally or anything like that that it's a bad place. I just think that Australia is hell on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I say that is because everything there wants to kill you. <laughs> Everything wants to kill you, period. I know, but there's like 23 out of 27 of the most venomous snakes on Earth live on the Australian continent. Then it has like some of the most violent and like powerfully um, venomous uh, insects. And then that's not even touching the sea life where it has jocks, box jellyfish, the blue, the blue ringed octopus, and then a snail that can kill you. That place is literally just designed to murder you. And the fact that uh, Australians and Aborigine people that live there are so nonchalant about it speaks more to their character than anything. Because they are <laughs> tough as nails. Because, <laughs> like, you show me any animal from Australia that's not a koala or a kangaroo, I'm probably going to run. But there's a video where somebody, like, hits a wolf spider, which is, like, a big spider already, and then it explodes into all the babies on its back. Mm. And he's like, oh, it's a mother. I'm burning that house down and the house next to that house just to be on the safe side. <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think I saw a video of, like, an Australian being like, I don't know what Americans are so uh, picky about. Oh, sure, we got snakes and spiders, but you guys got bears and mountain lions. Like, what, what do you have to be worried about? And my response to that is, um, I'm sorry. You know when a bear or a mountain lion is trying to get into your house. You don't know a snake or a spider's in your house until they're already there. Exactly. It's like, first of all, we don't have a, mass, a vast variety of bears. We have the two. We got the brown bear and the black bear. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Ooh. That was a lot. Yeah. Those can possibly hurt us. But yet again, we more or less have to be in their territory. And even so, then, uh, bears... You rain spiders! Because <laughs> they have spiders that migrate from basically making like a silk parachute out of its butt. So there's certain areas where it just rains spiders at certain points of the season. Yet again, that sounds like some Halloween town hell on earth stuff where you're just like, ah, oh, it's raining spiders again. <laughs> that shouldn't be a sentence you can say. It's raining spiders. Ma, ma, look outside. It's raining spiders. <laughs> can I go outside and play with the spiders? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm going to go make a web angel. No. <laughs> I'm going to make a web angel. 
more of them. Look, I'm making a web angel. Oh, Timmy, now get out of there before the spider sucks your, sucks your guts out. Yeah, he's, just, he's slowly cocooning himself. <laughs> oh, but ma, it's so cozy. <laughs> it's not. That's not an Australian accent. No, that, just... <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it was an Australian. <laughs> just like the voice I came up with. Oh. Basically just stepped on it and crushed it and it was just like, it was super effective. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Coco. Ekans. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a... And then I don't want to go to South America because of all the parasites. Oh, that's right. It, South America is notorious for being not the cleanest. Oh, I'm not talking about, like, the cities or anything. It's like the jungles or the woods there full of, like, insects and parasites we have no idea about. Because, mm. like, everyone everyone who's on that episode of Monster... On an episode of Monster Inside Me is usually, like, from South... Like, a South America Either location. Either from South America or has uh, visited... No, that's what I meant, is, like, they're from, like, their story starts from South America. And then it's like, we don't know about it. They were literally, like, the case study in America for it. And it's like, <laughs> I don't want to end up being researched while they're trying to kill the thing inside me before it kills me. <laughs> oh. Dark. Oh, parasites just, like, yeah, they kind of freak me out, man. No, that's the, th that's the one thing, like, that I can't stand, is, like, the idea of something in my body that I didn't invite in there. <laughs> like, because when you eat something, you know you're putting it in your body. When you drink something, you know you're putting it in your body. Parasite, don't care. Parasite's just going to show up and start doing whatever it does. Hey, look at your face. And they're not smart. They will destroy the host. They're yeah. not a symbiotic relationship at all. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, man. What's like the most... I'm trying to think of like the most terrifying parasite... I don't know if we need to go that far on this channel. <laughs> oh, come on. For, like the one person who's still listening. <laughs> just like, oh, parasites? I think I'm going to skip this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think. I'm just like, okay, uh, parasites. I would probably go. It's not It's not something that humans have been able to have happen to them. But uh, what, what, what's it, what is it? It's the thing that makes ants. Uh, turn, basically turns them into the zombies from... The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. That, That's terrifying. That fungal thing. Mm -hmm. It does that to spiders, too. Ugh. Yeah. It's just so yeah. disturbing. Yeah, so now imagine those thing, those people from The Last of Us, but now they're crawling on the ceiling. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, man, what was it? Oh, oh, and I have a huge fear of, like, funguses growing on the body, because they can do that. Ugh. Ugh. So, like, The Last of Us hit a major nerve on me, and I was just like, I can't stand the look of these things. <laughs> Oh man, that's just ugh. ugh. I don't know. The Last of Us didn't do that for me. Um, I'm trying to think of like what's like a. Th I'm trying to think of like a thing that did maybe like hit a nerve in like the horror section, but I can't think of anything at the moment. Probably because I've repressed it. Well, when it comes to horror movies, I'm pretty well inoculated against 90% of things. There's very few. Like, an ending will stick with me, where it's like, that ending was messed up in a, like, psychological Oops. way, and it stuck with me. But, like, gore or, like, jump scares don't bother me. Oh, no, I love... Because I can separate, like, real from fake. Like, if you show me a real video of, like, somebody in a car accident, I'm probably gonna look away because I can't stand the action. Mm -hmm. But, like, if I know it's, like, Hollywood make-believe, I'm just like, I don't care. No, no, no. I, I, love, I love horror movies. Horror movies are great. I just, like, I'm trying to think of, like, Something that, like, the way that, like, uh, The Last of Us hit your nerve. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, something else that hit my nerve, and I just can't think of anything at the moment. Uh, did we talk about that? Like, your Notice Me Senpai, like, YouTube channel that you would want to notice you? Because mine's dead meat. I've been watching since ep video one. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think we have. I don't know if I have one. <laughs> Mine would totally be the channel Dead Meat, which, if you haven't subscribed and you are listening to us, but you like horror movies, also subscribe to them. I can... What's Dead Meat again? Uh, he does kill counts where he literally does, like, a fun... Funny commentary slash uh, review of, like, all the deaths in a movie. Oh, okay. I gotcha. 
Uh, I don't know if I have one, per se. I know there's a couple of channels that, like, I enjoy, but I don't know if there's any small-time channels that I enjoy to that degree. Now, he isn't small. He started off small, but now he's up to, like, almost 5 million. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Huh. That was there. Subscribe day one, baby. Oh, yeah, I don't know if there was any channel I was a subscriber for day one. Um... Uh, let's see. Nah, I can't think of anything. Hey! Spurt! Ooh, sleep powder. Hey. <laughs> He's learning melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we need it. Poison nah. powder and stun powder are pretty good all yeah. by themselves. Yeah, yes. stop learning it. Got all the powders. And then Oddish. We'll put Beepo in. Oh, okay. okay. And then get him a little bit of XP. And then just switch over to... Lilith. Ooh, such a sweet, sweet scent. What is that, a hibiscus? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, daffodil. I love it. Oh. She dandelion. <laughs> Must be the last one of the season. <laughs> Yeah, no, Lilith's just like, oh, that's it. <laughs> and just like burns it. Yeah, just like a flamethrower. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, we're going to call this episode. Uh, I'm Ryan. I'm Matt. And be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. Yes. <laughs>